Welcome to Praise God. I'm arrested and free with your host, Julianne Harris, a show based on the Word of God and the promises of God's undying love for you. Now your host and the sheriff's daughter, Julianne Harris. Hello and good morning. It is October the 27th in the year of our Lord, 2019. I'm Julianne Harris, and praise God, I'm arrested and free. I'm arrested by God's goodness, His grace, His love, and His mercy. And I've been set free from anxiety, fear, pain, discontentment, and all the negative things that happens to us in life, I have been set free from. And a special shout out to my dad in northeastern Montana, who is a sheriff there. So yes, I am a sheriff's daughter. So I am happy and kind of sad to let you know that today is my last episode on KRDO News Radio. I am moving on and going into a different avenue, which would be more of video teachings and such. So let me give you some details. I set up my accounts. Here's my details if you want to further watch me. I have set up a YouTube channel. It is called Arrested and Free with the Sheriff's Daughter. So, arrested and free with the sheriff's daughter. So, that's the YouTube channel. If you have trouble finding me, you can find me on Facebook at arrested and free. Or you can find me on Instagram. I have to tell you a funny story. So, I was trying to set up my Instagram account to say arrested and free with the sheriff's daughter. And they shut me down. They, like, said that I was violating their terms of use by the name, I guess, arrested I, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> so the only name that I could get done in Instagram was Sheriff's Daughter Show is my title on Instagram. But look, folks, if you can't find any of that, I want you to send me a message or give me a call at 970-919-0459 and I can get you the info there. Or you can go to my ministry website, which is juliesministry.org. That's J-U-L-I-E-S-M-I-N-I-S-T-R-Y dot O-R-G. And you will find the links to my YouTube channel there as well. So, you know, praise God, folks. I, I really have somewhat mixed feelings today about what to share with you as this may be the first time some of you guys are hearing me. And... Or maybe it's the last time. Maybe you aren't going to take the effort to listen to me further. And for that, I'm sorry. Because you're missing out, folks. So anyways, I've been speaking about spirit, soul, and body. The fact that you are a spirit, that you have a soul, and that you live in a body. But you know, this week I've just really been meditating on the fact that Christianity has been turned into a bless me club. Now, don't get me wrong. I am all for prosperity. I am all for health and for wealth and all the promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. I don't deny that. But sometimes we can get so wrapped up into me, I, what I have, what I don't have, what I'm struggling with, all this junk, folks. And that's not the intention of the gospel. You know, I'm trying to take everybody to a level to go, okay, I understand I am right with God. Number one, sin issue is dealt with. It all past, present, and future sin is dealt with in the body of Jesus. Jesus has paid for all penalty, for all sin, forever. So that's the first thing. Next thing, I'm trying to get you into this attitude of righteousness, understanding how right you are with God because the sin issue has been dealt with. Understanding that because you are spirit, and once you get born again, you are 100% right with God. I'm trying to take us there, but that's not where I'm trying to leave us, folks. And I'm trying to give you this overview so that you continue with me and so that you can understand deeper of what Christianity is to be. Because we're not supposed to just stay in the place where, yeah, I'm right with God. My life is forever changed. You're supposed to now start to reflect and live out of that place to where your focus becomes people. Your focus becomes someone, something, everyone other than yourself. And as I've meditated on this this week, you guys, I have realized 
I didn't realize it as I'm going through it, but I'm looking back now and I'm going, okay, so why was I on radio, on a news radio show for the last year and a half? Why did I raise those funds and pay all that money to do it just to end it? You know, we can come to these points in our life where we're like, why did I just do that last year and a half of what I did? Well, here it is, folks, because of you. That's why I'm doing these shows. That's why I'm taking the time to record videos. It's not a glory show, folks. It is trying to share with you the things that have changed my life. And as it begins to change your life, suddenly your focus comes off of you. It's on to Jesus. And once you are set in that, your focus automatically becomes other people. It automatically becomes other people's hurting and the state that they're in that they are causing themselves because they're believing wrong or they're not understanding who God truly is. They're not understanding who they truly are once they get born again with spirit, soul, and body. So I want you to understand, and I just want you to think about, when you think of Christianity and when you are with God in your secret place and you're talking to him, is it all about you? I'm just wondering, folks, because that seems to be a lot of what Christianity is. And a lot of you maybe have figured out that, yes, I sin has been dealt with, that I am righteous. I am 100% right with God. But does is anybody coming to you to eat from the fruit hanging from your tree? Do you even have fruit hanging? Meaning, is there any sort of fruit that people want from you? Have you ever had somebody come up to you and go, man, there's just something about you? Or have you had somebody come up and just ask for your guidance or for some counsel? You know, that's what automatically happens. And look, folks, I have never sought that whatsoever, but it's happening to me, okay? And it's not because of me. It's not because I am putting it out there. I have people come up to me saying, hey, can you help walk me through this? And honestly, half the time I'm like, why on earth would they ask me to do it? Well, see, they're seeing the fruit because I'm not focusing on the fruit. I'm not focusing on me or my ministry. I'm focusing on everyone around me. I'm focusing on the goodness of God in my life. I'm focusing on who I am in the spirit. And out of that comes joy, peace, love, long suffering, every good thing, every good work comes out of understanding who I am in Christ. And listen, you guys, there is nothing like it. I have never sought to promote myself, but yet as I'm seeking to share with people the things that have changed my life, promotion comes. You guys, and every time it happens, I'm just like, wow, God, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say other than you're amazing because you are opening this door. Now, a lot of this promotion, is it a desire in my heart? Yeah. You know, listen, I have the honor bestowed upon me to teach a first year elective at Karis Bible College. This last two weeks ago was my first time teaching. And not only was it an elective, but they had my class, my elective class in the huge auditorium. So I'm standing on the stage where all these great ministers of God stand and preach. And I'm there in front of the people that chose to be in my class ministering. And I'm going, wow, God, you placed this desire on my heart. Yeah, he placed the desire on my heart, which is supernatural, folks. You know my history. And if you don't, you need to go back and listen to my previous episodes. Some of my first episodes on the radio, I really shared with you my testimony. And so the fact that I would even have a desire to stand up in front of people and share about the goodness of God is supernatural. So he placed that desire in my heart and I didn't focus on it. What I focused on was sharing the things that God has changed my life with, revelations that he's shown me. That's what I focused on. And then the next thing I know, God's bringing this desire to pass. Isn't that good? You guys, we got to take ourselves out of it and we got to stop focusing on me, I, us, you know, 
it doesn't matter in your relationships, in your job, in every single area of your life. Let's start focusing on other people. Okay. That's where I'm trying to get us to. So that's why I want you to make sure and follow me so that you can hear as I continue down this road with you. So we are talking about spirit, soul, and body. That's why I'm sharing with you who you are in the spirit. Because once you understand it and it changes your life, because it will change your life. It will. If you let it sink in and if you are having ears to hear, God is always speaking to you, folks. And it's those words from God that will radically change your life. Don't discount it because you think you already know it. That is the worst thing we can do as Christians to go in somewhere, to listen to a service, to listen to somebody and they say, well, let's turn to this scripture. And then you automatically go, oh, my God, I've heard this scripture Five million times, I already know this stuff. You see, you're limiting what God can speak to you in that moment. Never go into any situation like that. And I encourage you right now, maybe you're discounting me because, yeah, I know spirit, soul, and body. Well, you know what? God is speaking to you. He never stops speaking. It's us that hinder listening because we decide we already know it and we just shut our ears off. It's like basically putting your fingers in your ear holes and saying, la, 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 la. I don't want to hear anything God has to say to me because I already know this stuff. Man, you guys, it's a bad, bad place to be. And so I'm just encouraging you. I know the majority of you listening to me, you have ears to hear. And I praise God that he is speaking to you right now. He is speaking a word to you that is going to set you free. And then is when you take that word that has set you free and you start sharing it with someone else. Your relationships are not about what people can give to you. It's about what you can give to people. You know, I listen to Dan Muller a lot and he says it all the time. And it's so true because if you talk to enough Christians that are struggling with something, that are in a miserable place, most of the time they'll say, well, I tried that church, but they weren't very loving. So here's my question to you. Why wasn't that church very loving? Because you are love. So it should have been loving because you were there. Are you going to church for what you can receive from people? Or are you going there to bless somebody? Because I'm here to tell you, you are sent there not for you. And if you're unable to listen to the rest of this episode, I want you to go to my Facebook page, which is at Arrested and Free, or give me a call and I can send you the link at 970-919-0459, or you can find me on YouTube, Arrested and Free with the Sheriff's Daughter. So if you're going to church to receive from people, you're always going to be let down. You know, in Bible school, Greg Moore, who is the dean of education there, he had this amazing class. He said this, and I've never forgotten it, from the moment I was right there sitting in that seat. He said, the only people that can let you down in life are the ones you lean upon. Are you leaning upon people? Are you determining whether or not you like a church on whether or not you have somebody come up and personally ask your name and where you're from and where you work and all that stuff? Are you discounting that church because, oh, they just don't seem very loving, but yet you didn't say hello to anybody? You know, it says in Proverbs, to make friends, you must show yourself friendly. How many of you are actually friendly? Or when somebody says something to you that might seem catty or might seem rude, you know, ah, man, I love you. I'm telling you this in love. But if you are so sensitive that you're letting that, if this is the first thing in your mind going, well, who are you? I can't believe you're that rude. Then you're self-centered. I'm sorry, but you are. Because if there is conflict in your relationship, yeah, it has a lot to do with the other person. But how are you responding? Are you responding out of a hurt place or are you responding out of love? Because all fullness of joy and love dwells on the inside of you. And that's who you are in the spirit, you guys. It's not a process of trying to get this stuff from God. It's a process of learning what you already have received in your born again spirit. That's what the Christianity life is about. And it's not about you getting, getting, getting. It's about you actually giving out what you already have. 
And I think so many of us, and this is me included, you know, during Bible school, I needed, I needed to understand the goodness of God towards me. I needed to understand that God has nothing but good plans for me. I needed to understand it was a bless me club for a while because I was so confused about who God was and, and about how he viewed me. So it took, it's a process. It's like, you know, you have a baby that's in diapers and then, and then they get older and now you're trying to potty train them. And so they, they're trying, but they have accidents. It's, it's like this process. And then one day, suddenly, it's like a realization that they are not going to go potty in their pants anymore. And I'm here to tell you, if you are not giving out what you have received, you're still pooping in your pants. It's just staying on you, in you, all around you. But let's go to the bathroom <laughs> and let's get it out of us. Man, get this power of God that has been placed on the inside of you. Get it out of you and start loving on people around you, folks. I know that was really weird. And I don't know that it was divinely inspired because it was kind of gross. But really, stop pooping your pants. Let's use the toilet and let's get this goodness out of us. Let's get it out of us to people around us. Let's grow up. Let's grow up in the things of Christ. Hallelujah. And Jesus is there. Get this, you guys. Jesus is there if you've only just believed on him for your sins and you're not even sure about that. That's okay. God loves you more now than he did before. And Jesus is there with you the entire way. If you want to spend the next 60 years of your life struggling to understand whether or not sin has been dealt with, past, present, and future, God's not judging you on that. God loves you the same. And Jesus is there with you no matter what. But it's kind of a waste of the power and the grace that has been placed on the inside of you. So we need to acknowledge what is on the inside of us. And let's look at this. In Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And this is what I've been trying to enlighten your heart with is who you are in the spirit. Because if you don't know who you are in the spirit, you're never going to be able to walk in the fullness of who you are in the spirit. Remember, it's not something that you're trying to achieve. It's something that you are. If you've believed in your heart that Jesus is the son of God and that God sent him to earth to die for your sins and he died on the cross for your sins and God raised him from the dead on the third day. If you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, if you've done that, you are saved. You are 100% perfect in your spirit. Man, you need to listen to my previous episodes if this is the first time you're hearing me because this is life changing, folks. And I you know, I struggle sometimes because I see these folks in Bible school that, you know, maybe they didn't come to Bible school with wrong beliefs. Maybe they didn't believe wrong for so many years like I did when I came to Bible school. Maybe they already heard all this stuff and they know all of it to, to be true. And like I said before, if you're discounting it, if you're shutting off because you already know this stuff, if you're saying that I haven't had any revelation, no big revelation from God since I came to school, then shame on you. That's your fault. It's not God's. Hallelujah. That's said out of love. So here's the deal, you guys. In your spirit, you have all that you need for life and for godliness. For every situation that comes your way, you have the life of God living on the inside of you. You have the light of the world living on the inside of you. You know, it's kind of interesting. Nobody has ever walked into a room and they've said, hey, can you guys turn up the darkness? It just seems like that light's a little bright. No. You know why? Because light is stronger than darkness. Guess what? You have the light of the world on the inside of you. You have the light who is Jesus on the inside of you. So your life, once you realize that, your life is no longer dictated by the darkness that's happening to you, by the junk that is going on around you, by the situation and circumstances you may find yourself in. No, darkness is a weakling compared to light. When you walk into a room and it's a little dark, guess what? You turn up the light. You don't turn down the darkness. And and so I'm challenging you. You can turn up the light that's on the inside of you. And Jesus is there. He's the light of the world. And he's just wanting to just shine forth through you. 
And so it's up to you, folks. That is such good news. It's so good news because it's not God holding back from you. It's not that at all. He wants to shine through you. So let your light shine. I don't know if you guys ever sang the song, This Little Light of Mine, I'm Going to Let It Shine. You know, it's funny because I went to a, and I think I spoke about this on one of my episodes, but when I was in Texas, I went to a universalist, yeah, universalist something church. Anyways, they got up there and it was like, I I went there for a friend. So let's just say that. Uh, I can give you more details on YouTube when you go over there and subscribe. But (laughs) I went to this church and they ran it just like a church service. Only there was no mention of Jesus. It was, it was scary. It was, but you know what? Greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. I, my mom was freaked out. She's like, why would you go to such a place? I said, because I'm sowing into relationship and greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. So I'm not even worried about it, but it was eerie. It was weird, but they had this amazing choir and they sang and like with amazing talent, they sang this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. And I was thinking, what light are they talking about? Because unless you've believed on Jesus, you don't have the light inside of you. Turn up the light, folks. And how you turn up that light is by acknowledging every good thing in you in Christ Jesus. Your faith becomes effectual. Your The communication of your faith becomes effectual by acknowledging every good thing in you in Christ Jesus. Look, once you realize you already have it, you're no longer going to doubt that you're going to get it. So you are not going to doubt what you've been given. So listen, folks, I'm coming to an end of my very last show on this October 27th of the year of our Lord, 2019. And I am so happy that you tuned in today. And I want you to continue down this road with me. I am all about you guys. And it's going to be a new season. And I think you're going to enjoy it greatly. So please, please, please write down this phone number, 970-919-0459. You can call me. You can text me anytime. That number's not going anywhere. That is my number, okay? 970-919-0459. And otherwise, you can find me on YouTube. And the name of the channel is Arrested and Free with the Sheriff's Daughter. Also on Instagram, you can find me at Sheriff's Daughter Show. And if you can't find me in those areas, because it's really hard to search and find people, then find me on Facebook, and that's really easy. You just put the at sign, the at sign, arrested and free. So that's A-R-R-E-S-T-E-D-A-N-D-F-R-E-E. And then once again, there's my ministry website. I'm giving you all avenues, folks, because I don't want to lose you. I want to I want you to continue to hear me. I want to continue to build you up and make you realize who you are in the spirit. So please go to my ministry website at juliesministry.org. And I just pray that everyone listening to me, if I've rubbed you the wrong way, I'm sorry, but not really. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. <laughs> because God loves you. Jesus died for you and the Holy Spirit wants to help you in everyday life. So please Give me a call, send me a message, find me. And I just want to thank KRDO for this awesome opportunity of allowing me to have a show on here, even though I was paying you. But hey, it was still, you went out on a limb because I had never been on the radio before. And you are a part, KRDO News Radio is a part of fulfilling God's destiny in my life. And I thank you for that. Bye. The preceding was a paid program on KRDO News Radio. KRDO News Radio does not confirm nor deny the validity or accuracy of the information contained in this program. And the views expressed do not necessarily represent the views or opinions of the staff and management of KRDO News Radio. Hi, I'm Julianne Harris, and from this moment forward, arrested and free with the sheriff's daughter. This is my last promo. And I want to make sure that all my listeners out there know how to get in touch with me. So find me on Facebook at Arrested and Free or give me a call and send me a text at 970-919-0459. See you there. Bye.